What's good everybody, it's Batman, and today we're going to be doing a banger reaction. It's been a hot minute since we checked out one of Jay the Great's videos, but we actually have a lot of catching up to do with him. Um, what's it called? We gotta we're going to be checking out this uh, stream, because I heard it was like a really, really good stream. Um, and I wanted to check it out, and it just seems really hilarious. Um, so we're going to check this one out. This is more for like the entertainment value and whatnot, etc. And it's pretty cool. Um, so we're going to check this one out. It's called Naruto Sigma slash Beta and Chad slash Incel Tier List. <laughs> um... So we're going to get into this, and then he has a couple of other banger videos. Um, he's done like two videos with TG, and then he's done a third video with T with Thunder God on his own channel as well. So um, we got to check those out. Swag Cog has also um, dropped a, a banger video as well on his channel, and TG uh, went on. Um, we got to finish the, the fucking uh, future video that TG did with Swag Cog as well on his channel because we never finished it. Um, we got to do... Um, there's another thing like... We have a lot of shit to do for the reactions, and we're going to get it done. We're going to be all caught up by September, and we're going to be checking out even more and more reactions all on the way. We're going to get right back into the juiciness of all this shit. We'll be back where, and the grind won't stop, and we're going to have a lot of fun. It's either going to be funny-ass debunks, or it's going to just be like nothing but fire and just fucking goaded shit to where I'm just basically substantiating it even further, or just saying why that there certain notions or arguments are just absolutely fucking correct, and et cetera, et cetera. So... But either way, we're going to get into it. You guys know the vibes, and let's get it. Another pod here today. This is a special one we got uh, And then for this, this will probably be a, a two-part series or just one video and all together. It'll be here as well. As you can tell the title, yeah, we got a Sigma Beta and Chad Incel tier list of Naruto characters, as you guys could observe by the screen. We have a pretty good go. uh, tier list here. Oh, this another thing I heard is they, they haven't they don't do like all the characters They just do all like the main ones to really go over if that makes sense So for the most part they cover it uh, at least all the necessary, you know part actually so we have just to explain the format Sigma the top here Chad on the right incel on the left and beta on the bottom So for example if we had the ultimate Sigma Chad he'd be in the top right if we have the ultimate cuck beta male, we'd be at the bottom left. So <laughs> that's basically how we're going to try and gauge uh. these characters. Um, shout out to the guys that came up with this, which was actually, uh, actually Thunder God and New Horizons. This is a derivative of what they did. Uh, but yeah, they, I got the idea from them, so shout out to them for that. Shout out to TG and New Horizons. Um, and obviously this okay. is not going to be as tedious or as long as you know, like the actual fucking power scale and tier list, which we've done several times and it's taken like several hours to complete oh yeah five, six seven hours. hours yeah one time that like shit took hours. a while the first time we ever did that shit then we did it the second time and then like it was way way more better and shorter and concise but my computer died so we didn't finish um but yeah this should be a fun one folks and before we begin if you're watching the recording or watching live make sure to hit the like button it's greatly appreciated it gets us up in the algorithm even if you just take a second to do that it actually greatly helps um, so yes, that sir. small gesture will really help us. Um, but yeah, uh, as you could tell as well, I don't know if you guys can see it. I think it's, oh, it's not visible, or is it? Let me see. Give me a second. Oh, yeah, it is visible. As you guys could tell, donations dictate tier rankings, tier rankings as well. So, for example, if you see, like, oh, Kakuzu is a fucking Sigma, you pay, then we'll put him in, you know, the Sigma box, higher, higher up the alignment <laughs> chart, things like that. So, you hey, guys do yeah. dictate as well. If you be guys like that, bro. Money be... Money be controlling the world, you know? Shit. Um, and if you guys have questions, we'll try to answer those sporadically. We do want to get this done as well for content, but we'll answer your questions like we always do when we can. Um, but let us begin. Let's start from the top here. So, as you here can we tell, go. we have a pretty good list here. We have uh, even up until current Borto, actually. We have even code time skip, Borto time skip. It's pretty updated. So shout out to whoever made this, actually. Oh, code. Yeah, he's a fucking... <laughs> He's a, ch he's a beta. Yeah. Um, so let's start with main character. We have Naruto from the Academy. My thoughts on Naruto. He was there you go. <laughs> he lacked conviction yet. He didn't have that strong moral character yet. No. He's a child. But, you know, this is a Sigma, Beta, Chad, and Sotirla. So the reality is he didn't have that Sigma m mentality yet. Nor was he a Chad, obviously. He was a child. So First time. Yeah, he, yeah. He, he, yeah he, like, he was like... He was determined on what he wanted, but he's kind of a bitch. You know what I mean? Like, he couldn't accomplish anything. He was a failure, you know. Everybody was grilling him and roasting him, yada, yada, you know, you name it. Couldn't compete with the best, etc. you know. <laughs> he had heart. He had heart, but that's it. <laughs> and beta tendencies would cry a lot. Would want people's approval. That too, yep. Would cry. Things of that nature. 
you know, well, as opposed to maybe someone like Kid Madara who didn't give a fuck about what you thought about him. He was just that guy. So, um, he's... He's more beta than yeah, Incel, def- to be honest. definitely more beta. Incel, he didn't really think about girls at that point. Um, so, yeah, he's more of, like, in the middle here, as far as those are concerned. But, yeah, he's more beta. Not, like, extreme yeah, beta cuck, but he's beta. No. Yeah, yeah so for maybe sure. Maybe, like, right there would be a, t- be a good spot for him. Stanley Lonson just wants approval, like you're saying. So, yeah. yeah. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, I agree. Literally parentless. Yeah, that as well. That really uh, didn't aid him in his... So development. Um, let me get the chat out on my phone, folks, so I can see what you guys are saying while we do the tier list. Give me a second. And again, super chats are members get priorities as well. Oh shit, sorry. It's playing in the background. What does insult mean? Insult means like a guy that is extremely subpar with women, probably a virgin as well. Just a, yep, exactly. Yeah, it's a very yeah. poor female connoisseur. They're just not good with females whatsoever. So, which there are plenty of characters in our other incels, but also there's some chads out there as well, which we'll get to. So let's go to another character. We'll get to this Naruto later. Let's go ahead and do. Oh, land away Sasuke. This one's interesting. Um, hmm. Fucking Sasuke. <laughs> I think he definitely has more of like a Sigma mind state. Like he yeah. doesn't want to, you know, have the conventional route be met to achieve the. You know, ideological dream, if you will. Yeah, exactly. Um, Sasuke, and he's already kind of a tad, too, because, like, yeah. you know, he already had simps on him. Yeah, he, so, he, he I mean, was already pulling. Uh, yeah. yeah <laughs> Definitely didn't have any he issues with the ladies. Chad. Um, as far as his Sigma mentality. And he earned it because, all because, you know, Chia don't mean no shit either. Like, look at Obito. That man didn't have nobody in his corner. <laughs> While Sasuke, he had the ladies, you know? He, he already had that strong conviction to want to eliminate his brother he was very keen and adamant on it um he was already cold-blooded so he's quite the sigma at this age is he the I ultimate think so. no but yeah he's quite the sigma so i put him like he's a chad and he's a sigma so he'd be like somewhere Oof. around here somewhere around there he yeah like, that like it's grind. Totally valid. yeah he has that get it mentality i agree pulls effortless. that's good for the most part <laughs> so he yeah he's he, he, yeah just Man was such a savage to the ladies too, willing to kill people. He didn't give a fuck. You know what I mean? He had his mind set in stone. He just wanted revenge vengeance against his brother. You name it. Like he was, he was that guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh lord. Um, see what you guys have said. Prime Itachi versus fourth three, fourth three Kage. Who's more Chad? Who's more stronger? That's a good one. Let's go to Itachi. Okay. Where is Itachi? Absolutely. At? Itachi's probably with the Akatsuki. Where's he at? Uh, let's see. Down I thought Oh, there he is. Yep, Sami. go down oh, okay. one. Prime would probably yep. be Akatsuki, I guess. Yeah. So, this guy, man, there's a lot to say about this this man right here. This guy <laughs> is the ultimate Sigma. I mean, he was willing right. to sacrifice his reputation, sacrifice his, his family, literally and figuratively. Yeah. He just really had the mindset to get it done. Like, he's a, the epitome of a Sigma because... Ultimate guy. Lone Wolf. Yeah, Ultimate yeah. Lone Wolf was willing to win at all costs. Winning to him literally was having Sasuke hate him and become a hero and protecting the Kona, the Shinobi world and more specifically Konoha and Sasuke. Um, I think he died on the shield for that matter. Literally died on the shield for that cause. Um, mm-hmm. So he's the ultimate Sigma, uh, one of the epitome uh, Sigmas in the verse. Now, as far as Chad and Incel, the guy just... Was effortlessly, man. I mean, he's not <laughs> even, uh, if, if yeah, that, honest, and I was he, he had that like that one girl too that was like on his shit like the whole time, bro. You know what I mean? From uh, even as a kid. Um, but yeah, like he he was that guy, you know? Shit. Wet just from seeing him, even though he was a villain. Let's be honest. She was probably like. I mean, he shit. had a girlfriend too, canonically. Yeah, canonically so. as well, he had a girlfriend. I'm not gonna lie. Even even people that were facing him were probably like female shinobi that had to face him. <laughs> wet, I'm not gonna lie. This is probably melting. Like, just melting. Just melting. Yeah. yeah. Like, he didn't even have to look at them in yet. He didn't even need genjutsu because he was that guy. <laughs> That's his reality, so, bro. Yeah. Certainly. He's a shit. Dude, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. He's damn near top right. He's really really close to that. Uh, I agree. Tachi's that guy. Sigma, Sigma and Chad. So let's be honest here. Um, is Shibai on there? Oh, let me see. Is Shibai on here? Uh, Shibai, I why? <laughs> I don't see him. I don't think they put him on here. 
We'll do some uh, Boruto ones soon, though. We're not. We're gonna try to mix it up. We're not gonna go like in, like sequential order here or anything. Yeah, fuck it, dude. Yeah. yeah, fuck it. This isn't power scaling. So, who is more of a Chad, Ishiki or Madara? Oh, that's a good one, actually. Ooh, that is a good one. Go over both of them. Yeah, I think I, de I I will. I'll say this. If I had to give that, I would say Ishiki. That motherfucker was a savage. <laughs> so this individual, let's just get a grasp of how Chad like in Sigma he is. He shows up to Naruto's house. Takes his shoes off. <laughs> well, this is Jigen technically, but still Ishii. And then he says, oh, "Sorry for yeah. being impolite." And then goes on to systematically annihilate Naruto and Sasuke. Literally, he's bro. Sigma like. He's always on his grind trying to get. More Man is an asshole. A savage. Um, well, the Osuski have that sort of parallel. He put on the Black Air Force Air Ones, man. Like, you know, really get that. And he is uh, like, you know, the epitome of leaders of the Osuski, as far as we know, except Chiba, of course. So yeah. like, he's like. The alpha leader. Yeah, he's yeah. literally the alpha in the Atsuki clan. Besides, like, like we said, a hypothetical theoretical Shiba who's 4D. He is the yeah. he is the alpha. Like he's the Sigma Alpha Shad of the clan. <laughs> Kaguya feared him. The others probably feared him. Kaguya had to, you know, off guard him because she feared his Sigma energy. So he is a <laughs> definitely in the top right. He's definitely a Chad. I'm sure he pulled a lot you know, back in his day in the Atsuki clan. It's very obvious. He's part of the main branch. I mean, they probably just besieged themselves to him, to be honest. Oh, yeah. I mean, when we're sure. that powerful, it's yeah. like, yeah. So he's definitely up here with Itachi. I'm going to try not to block Itachi, but he's close. He's one of the ultimate Chads in this verse and Sigmas. So. Yeah, for real. I was like, I'm going to give Itachi, but nah, just a little bit. Just a little bit, yeah, like, yeah. He's, he, he sacrificed yeah. more. Um, he died for his cause more so than Ishiki. Uh, in, in a way, Itachi let himself die. Ishiki was beaten, you know, which is a little bit less Sigma. Yeah. So. He was beaten by Naruto, so. That is true, yeah. Um, let's see here. Who's another cool character to try and discuss? Let's talk about someone that doesn't belong in this rare era of Sigma. Let's talk about Sakura. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Part one. Wait, where's Kid Sakura showing here? Let's see that. Um, Shibuden in part one. I don't see on that row, no. Yeah, fuck, I think I moved her. You gotta go down, I think. Oh, they're here. This is knowing this is Sasori. Sasori. Oh, Sasori. Four, yeah. so. Oh, here she is. Okay. Part oh, okay. one, Sakura. Let's discuss Sakura, guys. Sakura oh, man. Never had that mentality. Never had that Sigma grind set. Nope. The closest that she got to that was the war. Arc. So Fucking simping crazy. over goddamn Sasuke the entire show, bro. And just fucking dogging Naruto the whole time. And being an ungrateful little brat. Fucking just like, ooh, I look pretty, my hair and bullshit. And then just crying all the time. Just saying, Naruto, Sasuke, Naruto. <laughs> the most annoying fucking character, bro. Like, she had a really cool goaded moment in the forest of death. But it wasn't, like, all that. But it was pretty cool. Um, and then, like... And then she eventually, like... In Shippuden, finally gets a little more respect. A little more. You know what I mean? But was still just, like... Just Sakura, you know? Like, holy shit, bro. That character was ridiculous. The writing for her was ass. Hi. Um, the, the ultimate incel simp for Sasuke Uchiha. Um, she, he, she was willing to literally drug her own fellow shinobi just to have a chance to simp over, her, simp over him some more. She never had the guts to do what has to be done. She almost got killed by Sasuke's hand multiple times. Yeah. She is... Yeah, she drugged her own comrades, bro, just to have a one-on-one -on -one with Sasuke. Like, who does that shit, bro? Um, she had the potential to have some Sigma energy, though, just because, like, you know, she was the one that, like, helped him with, like, the written exam. She was the one who was, like, touted to be the next Hokage because of her chakra control. Like, she had, like, potential to have like, some leadership qualities as a Sigma individual, but... Yeah. She just didn't fall through on those and exactly. was extremely feeble minded. And like she was distracted and being like stupid. Saying, so. Yeah, she Unfortunately. Just she yeah. was hampered and limited by her incel mentality for Sasuke. She was so hampered and limited by it. It probably limited her potential for a while until Shippuden, uh, where she started to learn medical ninjutsu. And even then, she's still hampered by it. She almost got killed by Sasuke in the Five Fighters Summon arc. Um, <laughs> It's very, it's very, very poor anti feet for her as far as being you know, an incel. So she definitely belongs at the, you know, the more lower left. Unfortunately, um, she's. Just, yeah. Yeah, that's
Yeah. Um, let's see the chat. Who's more of a chat? Okay, just read that. Matter is definitely more of a chat. Ishiki didn't care about others. Matter wanted to help others in their own twisted way. Yeah. I argue Matter pulled more women too, bro. Yeah, I mean, Matter pulled more. Ishiki was more about that. He, he was more Sigma than Chad. He was more like on his grind. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah so like, for real. He's like, I'll let I'll let that bitch go for that chakra food. You know, like, that's the type of guy he was. He did he did have yeah, Delta he though. To sacrifice he had Delta for that chakra. Food. It was weird though. I mean, because she's a fucking android, so, but that's some Krillin shit. Yeah, that's like the, that clan's version of the bag, which I respect. So, um, two people said, "What's going What's going on, Jim Cloud? Thanks for coming in." Yo. Uh, whoever okay. made this list didn't put Shiba on because they know he's the ultimate Sigma. Oh, that's yeah. Nice. Yeah, he'd be uh, top right. He's H2. Can't wait to learn about that guy eventually. Can't fuck with that guy. Yeah, no. can't fuck with him. Dater is the easiest beta in cell. Fucking <laughs> Dater. Damn. Uh, uh, I think, uh, Kiba, bro. Kinda oh, takes yeah. The cake. Let's get that trash out of the way. Where is Kiba? Yeah, garbage ass. Garbage ass character. Trash ass. He lost to a fart? Like, come yeah, on, bro. You're down bad, kid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fucking Kiba's bitch ass. Kiba. Here we go. The he male was, version of Sakura. <laughs> I mean, he was able to lose via passing of gas. It's pathetic. Yeah. It's certainly not Sigma. He didn't have that Sigma oh. mentality to push through that. Um, he always, like, <laughs> boasts about being oh, subpar as far as Shinobi ability. And as far as women, I mean, you'd it's not really really explored what his what his love desires are. Um, probably has none. Yeah, you know he probably I mean, can't pull. I think, I think when all the females yeah. in the shinobi world are. Bro, in and Boruto, so he don't even got a wife. He don't even have a kid, bro. I don't think he can pull. <laughs> the, uh, passing of the gas. That man's lame. Lame as a shinobi. He, he, lame in writing. He does have a kid, though. Admitting his dog's oh, going. Yeah, yeah, his tough. dog's going. Yeah, but this is like part one, like part, two and Yeah, stuff. this is like. Oh, okay, so he does have a kid in Boruto. I don't remember seeing him. His kid though. Like I've seen the whole anime um so far and I don't I don't know. Maybe it's in like some other filler shit. I don't know. Kiba when he's at his most pathetic, so um he's quite poor in that But place. if that's the case, hey, at least he got something yeah, at the ass. end. Yes, shit. Yes, <laughs> um Who had that Sigma mindset? You know? You know? <laughs> oh she know? Oh she knows is a dog. She knows, Where, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She knows is a dog. He's about it. Yeah, she knows about this it. Guy, He's cool. He's a badass. This guy's just down to scrap. He's a scrapper. Yeah. He's willing to bang it out. I mean, he literally <laughs> told Conquero during the Konoha Crush Shark, hey, man, let's settle this shit. Like, where do you think you're going? Like, I'm, you have more <laughs> problems to worry about than Naruto. Yeah, where you going, kid? Yeah, yeah, I'm right here. He basically put yeah. his foot down as the, the alpha in the situation. Conquero was like, oh shit. But that, that man even told Sasuke, yeah. like, this this will take, like, fucking two minutes, bro. Like, I'll be right with you. You know what I mean? Like, he was such a savage. Said, <laughs> talking oh, his God. shit. Like, you have to respect me. I'm going to prove it. And they had their... Or, there was even a moment where, like, he tells Naruto, if you just took me to go help to help to retrieve Sasuke, we would have succeeded. Like, he's just a savage, bro. <laughs> it was arguably a stalemate, but he was the last man standing in the end. Um, True. Okay. He's a fucking Chad. I mean, the guy's quiet. And he grinds. He just gr he works. He's on cold, his stoic. Cold. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he works on his craft. Very intelligent. Too. Very, yeah, very intelligent, very cerebral. Um, just the, the the guy that's about it. The guy, like the quiet hard worker. He's like the quiet leader. Of, but like, I don't see him get pulling any bitches though. Yeah. Especially with the bugs like that. That's a no-no. They're probably gonna be a deterrent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No yeah. bitches. Yeah. He does them like in his body. And shit too. To be fair, like the entire bug clan, like they they're all reproducing and having babies and shit. You know what I mean? So like, he technically can. He just ha but it's gonna be within his own clan. He ain't getting no bitches from <laughs> anywhere else. You know, unless they don't give a damn about that shit. Like, I could only imagine. Like, imagine she knows over here about to clap cheeks and and the bitch she's bugs in the bed. Yo, <laughs> she's gonna freak out. Sort of a oh shit. Not at all. He's a fucking yeah. Sigma and he's about it, but yeah, Chad, the Chad part, he would That's barely, he yeah, he, <laughs> yeah, he would only like barely be a Chad because of his stoicism, but besides that, it's like, it's probably not pulling like that. Um, it's probably like what Fair. Yeah, I think high Sigma. Yeah, yeah he's definitely like a, a fucking, you know, Sigma. This guy belongs like near the top, Ishiki belongs near the top, Shino would be like right here. Sasuke was pretty cold though, but I'm like right there as far as Sigma energy. Yeah, he's pretty cold. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Definitely. He's cold. 
Um, the Demon Brothers just fucked them up, dude. Yeah, exactly. Um, who was more of a, ha- a Chad? Heavy Sasuke or Pain? <laughs> That's another good one. What Ooh. abilities do you think Hagoromo clan Pain. would have? Pain. I'd say Pain. The Hagoromo clan? Well, technically, he's part of the Osuski clan, but... Um, um, well, I saw Ashra. Yeah, Ashra and Indra. Part of them, yeah. um, they have, like, variations of the abilities he once had, probably, I'm guessing. Pain was a fucking goat. They're he was a like savage. Hybrid, that motherfucker Osushi. came. <laughs> yeah. His plan. I mean, it was no joke. Mm-hmm. Hebi Sasuke, he was still a goody two shoes. He still had a heart. He still had a sense of morality. You name it. You know what I mean? The only thing he was really cold towards was just anyone that's very sinister and evil. You know what I mean, that he didn't put up with, you know? But, like, but he still was, like, you know, he was still a softy. You know what I mean? Even Taka Sasuke was, you know? I'm um, over here thinking of, like, Team 7 and, like, comparing those comrades to, like, his new Team 7, which was, like, Karen, Jugo, and Sagetsu, you know? Um,. So it's like, you know what I mean? And then you compare that to Nagato, you know, to pass the pass paint, bro. They didn't give a fuck. Chin <laughs> like... a bit about Otsutsuki abilities for sure, because they are part of Otsutsuki, like an authentic genetic code of the Otsutsuki clan. So, uh, Baramos is Sigma second to Shibai. Oh yeah, let's get him out of the way, man. Where is he at? Oh, Baramos, yeah, man. He's probably so, at the top, actually. Yeah, absolutely, man. He is a fucking. I mean, this guy. Was so about his grind. To the left, Jay. There you go. That's the kind of man that he was at this point in time. He was the king of the Shinobi world. I'm gonna skip this part because I don't want to like hear any spoilers. But yeah, I already know. When, once I, I'm literally about to watch all that shit. I'm about to get to that peakness, bro. I'm excited. But um, but like it, it's gonna be goaded. I'm really excited. I'm actually. I'm over here forgetting. Uh, I need to actually let you guys know. Uh, so, you know, with chat and everything. But uh, we're gonna be watching Boruto first. We're gonna get through the peakness. And then we'll get into gaming and, and you know, do the Walking Dead shit and you name it, so. Right hand man next to him. It's like yeah, Kron was like, yeah, yeah you talk. He, he was more of a Sigma, you know, definitely. He was probably telling him, you know. Ooh, Zabuza? That's oh, that's a good one. That's Zabuza, a Zabuza, Zabuza was, was about his grind. His grind was more of establishing... His reputation as that guy from the mist. Yeah, he did a good job with that. He was called, you know, the the deadly mist assassin. You know, yeah, the demon. He was a savage, bro. I remember that moment where he's like first introduced in part one. Just everything about him was like badass, and then like fights against Kakashi as well, get him a run for his money. And then there's even a moment where like he has Kakashi like captured, and then he's like talking shit to like Team Seven, and he's like, "Man, when I was like a little kid, it was." My first kill, it felt so fucking good, and he and he just starts like describing it and talking about it, like like the organs, you name it, and all this shit. I'm like, bro, this motherfucker is on some crazy crack. <laughs> Classmates during his, uh, his he was he was about it, cold. Definitely about it. Yeah, um, I'm sure he did yeah, a lot of missions exactly. for. He used to work for that one thug dude for the bag. I respect that. Mm-hmm. Um, that one like Gato or Gato whatever, whatever, whatever his name is. Yeah, he, he was about that yeah. bag. He was about that that action. Um, as far as Chad, I mean, I, he, he probably. Effortlessly pull in the mist. I mean, I'm, I was real. I think he got bitches. No, oh, no facts, problem. Facts. And like, yeah, like he had like the let the sigma mentality. Like, honestly, like he fucked up whoever needed to. Who uh, was in his path? He got to the fucking you know um, seven deadly swords in the mist. Yeah, he climbed the ranks. He's pretty much like the top. Yeah, um, and that's a big deal. Like the so, the seven swordsmen of the mist was like had an insane legendary reputation. Like they were no joke. You know what I mean? Like, if you had to fight the seven uh, legendary swordsmen, like, nobody wanted to do that. You know what I mean? Like, they were about it. You had to be, like, someone really, really powerful in order to beat them. Or have the eighth gate of gate. Or the the eighth uh, gate of death, you know? Um, but, yeah, like, it was badass. Like, even, you know what I mean? Like, they were up there. Like, they were even up there in competition with, like, the Sonning, you know, reputation and other. Um, they, they weren't above, but, like, they were they were approaching that level of fear and te- of territory, you know, and whatnot. Um, cause Kasame does even like admit himself, like not even the, the seven ninja swordsmen or, you know, anyone else, like even pale in comparison to the Sonic, whatever, yada, yada. But, uh, but yeah, but it's no joke. Like Zabaza, he had that reputation, you know, That's literally he was that guy. He was willing to kill, to die. And he must be honest. He probably pulled hella bitches. Out like, bro, you gotta give him credit. The man, like after finally, like getting his resolve back and conviction in a way and like, you know what I mean? And, like, being, and, like, just opening up and being a good guy in the end, right? You know? Um, the man, like, had no arms, completely fucked up, losing so much blood, you name it, and literally just, like, gets a kunai, bites the kunai, 
charges at like a hundred plus fucking people, bro. Killing them, getting through them, you name it. Taking swords to the back. He didn't give a fuck and still kills that one uh, loser gangster dude. You know what I mean? Like, that man was a savage, bro. So, oh, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah that's just cold, too. Yeah, that's just cold shit. Yeah, facts. It's, it's very, very cold. So he's up here. He's probably not this level of signal. Like, in, in the amount of, like, realism with him, and the amount of, like, respect you have for him in the end, that, like, when Naruto, like, used his talk no jutsu, and, like, he's, like, fucking sobbing and crying, you know what I mean? You name it. Like, that was just re that was a real moment, bro. Like, a real fucking moment. For once, he wasn't, like, being fake or being a two-faced with himself or just lying to himself, all this little, you know, bullshit. He was finally, like, fully embracing his feelings as a human being. You know what I mean? For Haku, you name it, etc. Who he was as a ninja, yada, yada, you know? Uh, he's over here somewhere. He's he was that guy, though. Definitely pulling. He was. <laughs> He's and, and I don't, yeah, yeah just like they said, yeah, I don't doubt. I, they they more likely he pulled bitches. <laughs> he uh, definitely yeah. did. Yeah, he's that guy for sure. Um, here is in. Oh, that's another good one. Bro, here is in. Get his bitch ass out of the way. <laughs> bitch ass. Uh, he had his moments for being a goat, but for the most part, he was a bitch. Out of the way. This old ass man, dude. <laughs> Was not about the ground. Uh, oh, Richard Marlowe was disgusted by his lack of Sigma mentality. He told yeah. him, you're old, you're rusty, you've gotten lazy. You fucking suck. Super so, soft, like, like really, really too kind. This fucking coward as far as Donzo, never put him in his place. Yep. That's extremely, extremely beta. You know, someone like Minato would never take that kind of shit. <laughs> no. Not tolerated. And he'd put his foot down. He is in lack that. I mean, he literally let his most prominent, talented student walk out of fucking Konoha yeah. the guts to get it done. That's fucking like, bro, nuts. he walked upon his student doing experimentation on kids and adults and you name it. Murder all these motherfuckers you know, and shit. Kids and adults, bro. Okay. And he sees all that shit. The monkey guy, Emma, is like, yo, you need to kill this motherfucker. And he literally spares him and still lets him run away. Like, he witnessed some Hitler shit, bro. And he's like, nah, you go, bro. Like, what bitch does that, bro? Get the fuck out of here. I mean, at least fucking incapacitate the dude and fucking bring him to the village and lock his ass up, you know? That's cuck-like. And he, honestly... In the amount of times he let Donzo do whatever the fuck he wanted, you know what I mean? All the fucked up shit he did. All the bullshit, all the problems he caused in the Shinobi world. Because he literally would not put his fucking foot down with him. And bitch him when he was supposed to. Atashi was willing to do it. Minato would it, actually. Minato does it in a what if scenario. It's shown in the anime. Like, I'm sorry. Here is in. The, he's a bitch, bro. In those regards, in the political spectrum, etc. You name it. Definitely a little bitch. You know. Um, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck his problem was, bro. He had his moments, so he had his goat moments as well, being the savage or you know the god of shinobi. You name it, etc. You know, all that crap. And then he was also, like, a really, really good-hearted person. He tried his very best to, like, you know, reason with the Ochiha or, or to never discriminate. And he loved everyone just as his family, yada, yada. He even, like, basically adopted Naruto as his own son and was always spending time with him when he was young, etc. Like, he did do a lot of good, too. But when it really counted, and for the most part, just towards everything, he fucked up. He fucked up and he was a bitch. He was a bitch. He was kind of, like, perverted in part one. Shows me that he's an incel. Like, probably that, that too, yeah. yeah. He was perverted. Like, he's over here fucking being a pervert when Naruto's, like, transformation sexy jutsu or or just with any anything involving woman, period. He was a pervert. You know what I mean? Like, he probably has to pay. And, like, <laughs> yeah, that's so true, bro. Yeah, he and probably he has to use... He disregards his... Naruto, bro. Like, come yeah. on, bro. He, he probably has to use his Hokage salary to get some, you know, to get some poon. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah, uh, no, he, maybe he when he was young head. in his prime, he was able to pull. But you know, for the most part, he this man probably struggled and had. Yeah, he had to probably either utilize his money and and, and status, <laughs> pull a fucking Trump. You know, for real. The only reason he's not down here because he is Hokage and he's about it. He did sacrifice himself, for, you know, to, to stop a rich tomorrow. But he's still pretty insane. Yeah, he makes up for it kind yeah, of. Yeah, but I won't yeah. lie. Once he got his conviction. I was like, all right, all right, now we're talking. But, like, yeah, it took too like, long, brother. Over here, like, pretty incel. Oh, absolutely. Uh, it's fairly yeah. beta. Fairly beta because of his lack of leadership. But, yeah, here's an, uh... The truth, bro, it hurts, but it's the truth. 
Um, let's see, y'all gonna have to do a separate placement for Obito before the mask comes off and after. That's facts. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely true. Oh yeah, for real. Uh, Bro was cool pulling girls, even defeating Pain, and it was pulling even more girls after the fourth great war. Oh, and Naruto? Oh yeah, dude. He had an exponential increase in Sigma energy and Chad-like energy after the Pain arc. That's facts. Um, what's Shikamaru? This is an interesting one here. Shikamaru is interesting. So, in the shooting exams, he was about it. He was calm, collected, stoic. He was a little lazy, which is not, that's why he's not like peak Sigma. Um, yeah. He was a very talented individual. But when it came down to it, though, he, he kind of, he, he delivered, you know, in, in, in a way. So, yeah, so absolutely. But he was lazy, yeah. As far as his shinobi. It's his whole fucking stick, you know? Strategy abilities. He's very talented in that, in that department. Um, he could pull if he wanted to, I feel like. Like, Tamari, like, he was playing games with Tamari. Um, and, you know, he ended up marrying her, so. Yeah. She's a little Chad like. Um, yeah, he, he was risen Tamari. Yeah, he's very intellectual. <laughs> he plays his own game. You know, he doesn't, yeah. like, conform to, like, the village's way of success. Like, he, he deems that the drag, quote unquote. Facts, yeah, yeah. Um, he's really, he, you know, he's, he's about his ways, and that definitely speaks to, like, you know. Uh, lone wolf energy right there in terms yeah. of the sigma in terms of bitches so i mean like he can pull probably yeah. Yeah. but like yeah i don't know he, he chooses right. not to that's the problem and then not only that when at least when he was young like he had a certain mindset of like where he basically dead ass says verbatim like women are fucking like dumb and annoying and useless and all this like shit like he was bro he was hating on women bro <laughs> like like he he literally asked, uh, it was to his dad, yeah, it was to his dad, he was like, what's the point of women, like, all they do is yell and bitch or be angry or all this shit, yada, 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 or emotional, blah, blah, and then his dad, like, puts him in his place, and he's like, well, Shikamaru, without woman, you know what I mean, uh, you want to have this and this and this and this and this, and he's like, "There's and here's all these pros for why women are actually a good thing and great, and most importantly, um, you know, you won't really fully understand of what a woman can actually really give and provide to a man and how important it is to even have a woman in your life. You know what I mean? So, like, you're being blatantly ignorant, basically, kid. You know what I mean? Like, you're kind of hyper-analyzing the cons or negatives that women may have, but over-exaggerating it, you know, uh, for the most part, or just being a dick about it. Like, and, you know, he was like, wake up, son. Like, you know, shut the fuck up. Like, you're being a bitch. Um, so, like, when it comes down to it, like, around that time as a kid, his mentality, the way his thought, whatever, he, hell no, he would not be pulling no bitches. Hell fucking no. Eno would get pissed off at his bitch ass, you know, or Sakura and shit, you know? I don't know, though. He's slightly chattish. Slightly like, he could be able to do it if he had the mindset and actually wanted to, you know what I mean? Um, but his perspective of woman and that mindset he had, you name it, etc., just in his personality and behavior, hell fucking no. He's like... <laughs> like, when he gets older and should put him... He gets more better though, you know. What I mean? He's more mature, etc. More knowledgeable, yada yada. Greater, wider perspective, you know. What I mean, and that's why you know he has Tamari basically drooling over him the whole fucking time, you know, and, and risen her up. <laughs> be here somewhere. He's he got it. He's about it to some extent. Um, he can get the job done when he has to, but you know, he, he takes days off. You know, Sigma's at the top of the list. Don't take days off. He takes days off. Yeah, he definitely takes days. Oh off. yeah, he did. He does. Do it tomorrow. So, it's one of those guys. <laughs> yeah, that's a, yeah, for real. Uh, now, speaking of Sigmas, we got fucking Kakashi. Now, this guy is a fucking Chad in a Sigma because his no his <laughs> name was known throughout the nation. So, yeah. You know, Kakashi, the, shot, the copy ninja. He was that guy. He was. Um, and he definitely has a Sigma mentality. He's always grinding. Never He's broke either. Ability. Went through so he much trauma. Jutsu. That's, that's a Sigma. Went through so much trauma. Went through so much pain. You name it. Never broke, bro. Always stayed strong kept fighting on and being such a great inspiration to others you name it etc had a legendary reputation feared among all nations you know like just legendary bro able to use the shotting gun to a certain level of fucking perfection or excellence of only a chia that could really only do it you know what i mean you know like he was just a beast he was a goat dude creating the rikery you know like he was trying because he's basically trying to add um the lightning nature to a rising gun but he fucked up and created the Rikery instead. You know, like, he's just a goat, dude. Like, the man, the man is such a beast. Absolutely a beast, dude. You know, like, the, the peak epitome of genius level and talent. And then just everything about him, bro. His personality, such a savage, a realist, you know what I mean? Very blunt and upfront. 
um, effortlessly pulled woman. <laughs> effortlessly. Like, the man takes his fucking mask off and all the women are fucking dying and crying and drooling and shit, you know? Like, like the, at the end of the day, bro, Kakashi was just that guy. He was that fucking guy. He's literally my favorite character for so many reasons. <laughs> like, I love the guy. Type of feat to nice. accomplish. So, he's one of those guys. As far as Chad and Ince, I mean, this guy pulls effortlessly, man. Yeah. That's why he wears a mask. He's a... <laughs> yeah, he has to... That's why he wears a mask. Just like what Jay said, he got to... You gotta cover up that riz, that effortless, you know, no diff riz. <laughs> it's god tier. Yeah, yeah, he, doesn't read, he doesn't read that weird shit. Otherwise, that would take over, like, you know, the fucking uh, legendary shotting gun, you know, atmosphere. Instead, he'd be, like, called the riz ninja god or some bullshit, you know? He, but he literally hides his face to avoid pulling too much. That's why he wears it. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. He doesn't want to, you know, take away all the options for the other guy. He's <laughs> for the rest. And- it's very Chad like, so yeah, yeah, he, yeah he's he, very sick, bro. Like, yeah, he's such sick, a good tech, yeah, for real. As far as Chad, he's like middle, yeah, yeah. like middle Chad ish down here somewhere. He's he's about it, definitely about it. Um, here's an element put Gonzo at beta. <laughs> uh, here's instead of his own tear gutless coward, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. As far as beta, I should put him lower. That was quite beta. Yeah, here's a, yeah. Here's a bitch in part one. Um, let's see who else is interesting. Let's see. I mean, bro. Bro, bro, they should have done uh, Zaku's bitch ass. She's like basically another Sakura. (laughs) She has a little bit more guts than Sakura. But yeah, she's extremely incel. Extremely obsessed with... Sasuke's Chad energy and his Sigma grind set and his Sigma grind set and mentality. She's getting gaslighted in yeah. the whole series. She's literally being gaslighted <laughs> by the Sigma Chad that Sasuke Uchiha is. Um, she's certainly Sigma. Pretty beta. She's not a combatant. Literally, that picture that he yeah. has right now, bro, that was the exact moment where she's dead ass trying to seduce Sasuke. Like, that chick was wildin', bro. And here, she's not someone that is too impressive in that department, so. Yeah, we got here out of the way. Let me get the chat up, folks. Give me a second. What the chat like? Let's see what the chat is saying. But she was a goat in certain regards. I mean, her no, sensory I was ridiculous. Um, um, you know, uh, you know, you name it, etc. <laughs> That's what I'm she saying. had her moments. That's why he's not yeah. like he's not like. And then the healing juices yeah, that she had bugs. too were pretty yeah, strong as fuck. Jiraiya, fun. bro. Oh, dude, Jiraiya. Let's get him out of the way. Where's Jiraiya? That <laughs> Jiraiya's bitch ass. Jiraiya was a hit and miss, man. You know? Mm, there he is. There's a song in the to the left. Yep. So Jiraiya has an obsession with female beauty. That's extremely incel-like. He really <laughs> died because of his incelness uh, to Tsunade's hand. Yeah, always beauty. getting rejected so, by Tsunade. You know what I mean? Could never pull any girls, you know? <laughs> was extremely obsessed with porn and such a pervert and... Always spying and looking at women. You name all this weird shit, bro. Like that man was, that man was sus, bro. One of the only times he was brutally wounded. Like he had his moments to where, like, what really made his character shine, and like what what made like basically the reason why everyone even loved him to begin with, you know. Um, but like, but yeah, nah. When it comes to all that weird shit, bro, yeah, <laughs> that shit was sus. Uh, yeah. So that's extremely insult like, you know, as Chad would never show that vulnerability to a woman. Like yeah. Extremely, extremely Fine on a bath and shit. Yeah, like, like in yeah. a bath and shit. That's, yeah, that's a loser. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. insult like. Um, as far as his mentality, it's hard. He's like in the middle because there's times where he's about it. You know, yeah. when he was protecting Naruto from Itachi and Kisame, he's like, I could beat you both right now. Like, he has that energy. But sometimes he's fucking looking at women, wasting his time and mind. <laughs> and mind. He calls it research, when in reality, it's him simply. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Jay. Jay was like, he calls it research, but in reality, it's just him simping being a bitch. <laughs> God damn. Dude, though, I uh, mean, that got he me. He really gave it his all to like weeks and then. Bro, I'm gonna be honest. Watching. I needed this reaction, bro. I needed this shit after after playing and watching that depressing ass game, Walking Dead. Fuck it, I needed this shit. Before he died, like uh, he got the leaf and the future of the leaf above himself. And yeah, that was those are admirable qualities of a leader to, yeah. to possess. To be uh, that yeah. was like his his climactic event as far as his sigma mentality. 
Be like that. Yeah. I think there's a. I saw a Sage Majora here. Let me see if I see. It. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, then that's completely. Sage right. Majora was a goat, though. That that motherfucker was a goat. <laughs> Where is he? Uh, I just saw him. Uh, up here somewhere. There he is. Mm. There. Okay, cool. Yeah, so nice. He is definitely more Sigma than this one. This guy was about it. He was like, you know what? I'll give up my life if I have to. Um, I'll do what it takes. You know, he was banging with the passive paint. He was scrapping with them. He yeah. He did all right against three of them. So he's probably less less incel. Um, I'm just going to pretend this is also the Jiraiya that spoke to Shinati at the end. I think at that point he knew he could bag and probably clap. Like before, he left, <laughs> before he left. Yeah. Before he left that, that is true. Yeah, he, 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 was, he was risen her up towards the end. And she was actually warming up to him too. Like she, she, like... If he didn't die, he would have ended up with her, and he would have clapped. You know what I mean? Like, that is true. Like, there, there was those implications and everything. So, like, yeah, I agree. <laughs> like, she was over here blushing and everything, you name it. He's over here flirting with her and saying all the, and all this shit and then complimenting her. You know, and, then, and she was blushing the whole night, you know? So, and you could tell, like, how much she really, really loved him. You know what I mean? And, like, eventually he got to the point where she was like, you know what? Like, he, he's, like, madly in love with me, has feeling whatever. Fuck it, you know what I mean? I'll, I'll be, you know, I, I'm feeling it for once, you know, because <laughs> she always basically thought of him like, as um, she always friend zoned him basically, you know what I mean? It was always a friend zone and like more of like a brother, you know. And then eventually, as time went and with her losing all the, her lovers, basically every man that she ever fell in love with died, um, you know, fucking like eventually, you know, he was just the only one there when it really mattered, and you know, she started getting feelings too, so you know. That's what happened. So I agree with that. Absolutely. He would have definitely, uh, they would have been together. If they were still, if he was still alive, they would have probably uh, been together and had a kid in, in Boruto. So. He's kind of like implying, he's like, hey, if I, if I survive this. I'm well, actually, mm, no, they probably wouldn't have kids because Sonata was already like, I think, past her 50s, but. You know, she yeah, was busting. Yeah, back. She, she was, unless she, was she does like it. some weird ass fucking ninjutsu hacks or some bullshit because technically she's able to like reduce her age to like in her 20s or even teens if she wanted to. So, I guess if she can do that, then maybe she can still have kids. I don't fucking know. No, so he, he oh, had yeah. that. Yeah, in the back. So he was more Chad like towards his, his final moments. Um, he'd probably be slightly more Chad, very Sigma, because of, you know, dying for the cause. Yeah, he was a goat. Sage Bull Dry is that guy, yeah, bro. He can actually fool yeah. during that. Yeah, for that, sure. That time, yeah. Sonata was like, oh, he really is that guy. Like, that's the way he was, she was looking at him. Yeah. Like, she was, and that's like literally only Sonata, though. Yeah. It's like, that's, that's true. Yeah. Literally only yeah. Sunday. So, he's he had more chat energy, not too much. Very Sigma, obviously, because of what he did in the end. Um, but this draw, yeah, extremely incel. <laughs> uh, fair, not too... Like, the only thing you could say for base draw, like, he did have some Sigma moments in Boruto, where he's fighting the alien dude, you know what I mean? And he's, like, and he's actually, like, giving him, like, a fight, like, kind of what he did against Pain. And it was, pre it was pretty goaded. Like, it was some goaded shit. Like... I hated it and was in complete disbelief and was laughing for the most part because I was like this this scaling is absolutely outrageous. But at the same time, if Jiraiya was still alive, it's something I definitely could have also like seen. You know what I mean? And would have been able to understand and be like, okay, whatever you name it. Um, but the scaling was absolutely outrageous and bullshit. You know, it was absolutely outrageous. You know. Um, but it was goaded though, because like he was about it, like he was serious, he was fighting, you name it, like, and 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 then plus he doesn't even use sage mode, you know what I mean? Like he didn't even think like the alien was that much of a threat for him to really go that far, you know? Um, he probably would have if it boiled down to it, and it wasn't for like Boruto and Naruto having like their plot armor moment, you know? And then he probably would have and would have probably still died, <laughs> you know? But um, but either way, like it, it was it was pretty goaded moments. It was pretty cool. It was goaded. Um, so that, that's the only thing you could say for base drop, but either way, like, that's like 5 or 10%, you know what I mean? Like, the only time, you know, or the, also the Kasame and Itachi moment, but that's, that's it, like that 5 or 10%, while the other 90 or 95% is him being, you know, a weirdo and a bitch, you know, like, and can't pull, and she, <laughs> like, so I agree, bro. A two Sigma, not about his grind like that. Like, fog him. Um, so he'd be around there somewhere. This one. He he did have a sawning reputation as well too though you know what I mean he was he was very feared and whenever someone knew who he was and or realized that he was a sawning whatever they fucking shit their pants too so even Kasame was like uh you know what the fuck you know like we can't beat him or 
or or the, the seven inch swords and pales in comparison you know you name it or and, and like he's literally running away and like oh my god this is bad what do we do itachi please save me itachi you know so like he had that too you know exactly more scaling for sigma mentality um let's see we still love dry though oh yeah dry is a legend absolutely love yeah, dry man he's a legend but yeah folks even a dollar if you know whatever you want us to rank we'll rank we'll adjust or even just a dollar if you guys want that to spice things up financial incentive will cause us to re-rank newly rank so keep that in mind imagine soccer's just ultimate sigma chad now you know? <laughs> yeah someone's gonna pay like a oh, dollar gosh. to put it at the top like <laughs> you know, we gotta do it um time skip boruto oh let's let's, let's do that let's do a boruto character he's right here this guy man what is the pishash what the hell? What the fuck is this? Okay. The dinner table looks different these days. But from countertops to desktop. Fuck you. Oof. This guy would, is making Sasuke proud. If he's not dead already, I guarantee he's proud of this, of this young shinobi developing. Bruh. He you know, had a three-year hiatus as a global terrorist, uh, as far as the manga is concerned. Comes back. Stomps on No Limiter Code's face, who is stated to be above Jigen, <laughs> who whipped his dad's ass in this very Sigma like way, this very Sigma like fashion. He shows up. Imagine that, bro. Like, Stomping on that level of power? Like, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Sorry, I, said, uh. I hope you yell loud enough so Boruto comes to save you. Boruto comes in, stomps on his face, and tells him. That's why you don't get no bitches. Especially what he said. That's why you don't get no bitches. Because you're, you're, Dismiss. Yeah, he dismissed him and said, basically implied, I get more bitches than you. Simple as that. So that was extremely impressive. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's kind of cutthroat right there, yeah. bro, to he be was, honest. And he was obviously <laughs> on his grind. Like, he was on his grind, working with Sasuke. He has the drip now, the look, the stoicism. So he could definitely pull. I think Sarada was impressed by what she saw. So. Oh, um, she's shaking her boots, yeah, bro. She's, she's just weak. Bit. Yeah, she's yeah. weak in the knees for sure. So, I'm gonna put him um, around here. Yeah, I, I think again, like, fair. Uh, yeah, no, I think he can. I'm play not that far in the manga yet for Boruto. I haven't even started yeah, the manga yet, in Boruto. I, I can't wait. Like, uh, I um, but I am like nowhere like near that far. Nowhere. Say, but, like, he's <laughs> like the where I'm at, like where I'm at with Boruto right now is I'm only like in the anime, and I basically just ended off after seeing Sasuke and Naruto get bitched by Jigen. You know. Yeah, you play him in the ranks as far as Sigma Energy, Chan Energy. Yeah, you probably. Uh, Kakashi or Boruto, though? That's interesting. Uh, yeah, I think. Kakashi just has more more showings for Sigma Energy. Um, because, like, Kakashi went through so fucking much and still that guy. Yeah. You know? He, he's had more trials for sure. Way more than even this Boruto has. He's still fairly young, so. Um, yeah. I think Kakashi's still more Sigma. Still more about it. Um, Boruto's. He's, he's up there. He's up there. He's getting there. He's getting yeah. there. Yeah. Chad, the Chad energy's there. Um, and he has drip, of course. Yeah, he has that drip now, so. Uh, let's see. Guy is Chad for show. Dude always got his grind. Oh, yeah. Guy is a fucking Sigma, man. Guy? Absolutely. Yeah. Where's Guy at? There he is. So, this guy's about as Sigma as they get. This guy, you know, came from a father with subpar abilities. I don't think he was, his father was even beyond that. Shuni, to be honest. Um, yeah, you know, Genning. Eternal Genning, yeah, literally. Was Eternal Genning. And Guy yeah. said, well, Guy broke the generational curse. He said, you know what, man? I'm going to be the guy that breaks this curse. I'm not going to be an incel beta that can barely use the eight gates and barely defeat four out of the seven swordsmen of the mist. I'm going to be a guy that literally gets respect from Mara Uchiha himself. So, he's that guy. Yeah, he's those guys. exactly. So, extremely, extremely <clears throat> well-respected. Kakashi yeah. respects him. Guy, guy is a goat in that aspect. Yeah, guy was a that guy was he was that fucking guy, man. You know what I mean? Just Taijutsu alone in such a monster and a beast, bro. Fuck, guy was that guy. You know, hell yes. Def, definitely ain't pulling no bitches. You know what I mean? It lacked heavily in that department, but but he was that guy. Kakashi's father even said like, if you're not careful, he'll surpass you, Kakashi. Like he's one of those guys on that grind. You know, so he's he's up there. As far as uh the females, 
Uh, I mean, he's never had too much success the there. The drip is just not there, bro. Yeah, he has, like, the bowl cut and shit. Like, the drip is, is lacking. Um, yeah, I think he's rather lacking in that department. I'm going to keep it real. But, he, he you know what have, I mean? He doesn't have it like that. Kakashi just has that, that swag. You know, the guy doesn't have that. Like, Kakashi can pull nah. without trying. This guy has to, like, you know, use some insult tactics. So, um, <laughs> to be honest, Edo Amadro was that, that Sigma Chad. Back, so yeah, oh, yeah. Every version of Amadro is oh, yeah. Chad. Yeah. Pretty much. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. <clears throat> What's another interesting character? Hmm. How about Part One Gara? That's an interesting one. Ooh, that's a yeah. So this guy, one of the scariest characters in the Naruto verse, during their respective eras. This guy was so Sigma that he told his own siblings, "If you fuck up, I'll kill you." Like he's one of those guys. Like if you don't follow my ways, my Sigma mentality will cause me to eliminate you, my own flesh and blood. So he's one of those guys as far as his Sigma mindset. Um, his cause was to taste blood, to fo- feel that rush, you know, to kind of replace the love he never felt with the rush of death. Um, that's really the type of man he was, or the type of shinobi he was. So extremely Sigma. Uh, let's be honest, he's not a chat at all. I can't pull because he's literally like a like a psychopath. A yeah, yeah. He's a menace. Yeah, um, menace. Only a crazy bitch would go for him. I'd have to be like another Sakura. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, gosh. Like, Absolutely probably, agree. If he wasn't in exchange, in all, like in, in an interaction with a female, he'd probably be calm about it. Like, he'd be like, yeah, I'm Gara and shit. But like, he's not. He's got, he has no riz. Yeah, he has know, no riz. Like, he has like the confidence, all. but he lacks the riz. Yeah, exactly. So he'd be yeah. like pretty Sigma. Maybe like over here. And slightly, maybe slightly Chad, but he, he literally has no Riz. So. He literally has got no game, bro. Yeah, he has no game at all. He's probably never even sniffed a woman in his life at this point in his life. So, <laughs> For honest. real, though. Yeah. Um, I wonder what Sasori is. Lo is just a little psychopath. <laughs> yeah, no, they're spitting absolute facts. Like, Gar was a monster and a beast when it came in t- into the Department of Power, flexing, you name it. And just not giving a fuck and wanting his way and all that shit. Like, he was a badass. And and, and just extremely fucking cold and sinister. You know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, with the woman, yeah. No. <laughs> he just didn't give a fuck, bro. You know what I mean? He didn't care. Um, if anything, he'd kill any woman, you know? Like, he was crazy. Now, when he gets older, you know what I mean? And he's, like, um, in Shippuden and as a Kazakage. Oh, at that point, he's pulling effortlessly. You know what I mean? Like, holy shit. But he was getting all the Sasuke treatment, basically, at that point. Um, better than that, yeah, as a kid, n- not, not a bro. <laughs> yeah, all the women were scared of him. Actually, let's, let's speak about Sasori. That's a good one. Sasori is an interesting one. Yeah, I definitely have some things to say about Sasori. Where is he at? Bro, so, Sasori. Oh, that's it, right? Just, one down below. Oh, there he is. So this is what I got to say about Sasori. Sasori has what I call unintentional riz. Because when he was playing soccer in Chio, he took his fucking, like, he showed his face. And Sakura was down bad you could see it in her face she was looking at him like holy shit i just forgot about sasuke for a second <laughs> and so <Sasori's laughs> just that guy he has killer intent but still has riz so he has some he's a fucking chad man guys don't know people don't realize that he's a chat so as far as a sigma mentality though i mean he's about it you know he has all these he has a hundred puppets at his disposal you know that guy was in you know in the sweat and he was in the sweatshop for days just building that shit like a, on his sigma grind set yeah He's about it. All the people as, he was. All the people who killed. Literally saying, yeah. hey, he's like, a whole fight country. Him. Yeah, he's de- literally taking down nations. He's about his grind. He's about his yeah. grind. And he literally fought and defeated this, arguably the strongest sound shinobi of all time. And oh, absolutely. Like, yeah. Know, at that point in time, he was the guy. And Sasori said, now I'm the guy. So he, he imposed his Sigma will on him. Yep, he did. So, so Sori's actually very Chad like. Defeated the strongest Kazakage. We don't know how. We don't know if it was just off guard or if he actually did beat him in a fight. Um Well actually no no no. I don't think it actually was off guard because I think TG actually sent me um some evidence that they actually had like a, a legit fight. Um so never mind, I actually could be um I think he actually dead ass fought him and just beat him. So like that's just insane in a feat itself. You know what I mean? Like that's just crazy. It was the strongest Kazakage out of any it had the most broken sand, you know, um, and he just beat him. He just beat him, you know, with his poison and puppets, and that was it, um, you know, and he was just no fucking joke, which is a big, big deal in a feat itself, 
because that connects to Chio, which connects to Hanzo, and et cetera, et cetera. You know, like, so it's crazy, you know? Like I said, unintentional Riz. So, he probably belongs pretty Chad, like, I think Itachi pulls more. He has more Riz, but... I think so, for sure. Yeah. yeah. I like... think he's definitely above Sasuke. Yeah, he's Probably above Sasuke. Like, Sabu's at range, to be honest. Yeah, he's like over here. Like pretty Sigma Yeah, it's well. probably below. Yeah. yeah. He's like over here somewhere. Pretty Sigma, man. So Sori's that guy. People don't respect him enough. So. It's crazy. Yeah, facts. So Sori got wet when she saw Sasori. Oh, yeah, dude. Because he's that guy. I mean, you know, he's the guy. So. He's forever young. Yeah, you know? forever young. Like he has like the, the grind, the aesthetic, the mentality. You know, he's that guy. So, he should be respected. Um, that's another interesting one here. Hmm. What's Toby Rama? Oh, that's a good one. Toby Rama. Where's he at? Here he is. Let's use this one. So Toby Rama, is about his convictions extremely to the point of displaying racism. So he's very sigma, um, for sure. Um, he definitely would be. <laughs> Dude, he says flat out his racism. <laughs> oh, yeah. Literally, Hashirama's fucking oh. mother, man. I mean, that's light work, bro. Yeah, it's light for him. He literally has a fur coat on. Literally has the, <laughs> he has the century. Yeah, he got the looks. He got the drip. The intelligence. He's a badass. That Sigma energy, etc. Was Hashirama was basically like main second hand man, you know what I mean? To get to get all the political shit, to, you know, straightforward and and to handle business. Like he was that guy, bro. Created the most broken ass fucking jutsus. Like you gotta give credit when it's due, bro. You know what I mean? You guys already know I am. I, I'd be shitting or uh, shitting on Toby Rama or really um or dogging him at certain moments. But that's only when it comes to like power scaling. You know what I mean? But when it comes to like overall as a whole. And even as a Kage, as a Shinobi, like he's just he's one of the goats. He's a fucking badass, you know? With the the Gucci mink fur coat. He has the Gucci on him, bro. Literally. Totally he is. has the Gucci uh, on him. You know he has the money. You know, he has the skill. He has the look. So he's a an alpha male. So he's definitely extremely Sigma. Literally created Shadow Clone Jutsu. And another question I have is I wonder if Kakashi ever like was a descendant of from him or some shit. You know what I mean? Because like Kakat, they both have the same exact hair, same exact shit. The reanimation jutsu and several others. Yeah, he's a chad. The man is a leader. Yeah, like absolutely. Very chad. Yeah, I think he's like ultimate chad. Yeah, like. And let's be real, we know he was probably pulling too. So let's be real. Around here, in this range, very chad like, um, and very sigma as well. I mean, he's yeah, very high. sigma. Very part. He's a pioneer yeah. of the sh shinobi world. So. Uh, Itachi respects guy. Yeah, as far as his Sigma energy, not as far as his Riz, though. Yeah. No. Yeah, he has no Riz. Sig Itachi, it's night and day between them as far as who has more Riz, I mean. Yeah, for real, come on. Yeah. Uh, that jumpsuit, bro. Yeah, no, it's, it's kind of sad. Yeah, the comparison of what you're working with, bro, guys like the Sid, Sid from the Sloth from Ice Age or the Sloth from the Goonies, bro, while Itachi, he's just like that, the most handsome, most hottest, like, like goaded male on the planet earth you know what i mean like any any celebrity male that you could think of that's just like a beautiful man or fucking or whatever the case may be you know and just that guy and just effortless riz you know that's who itachi is but he's like has all of that he's even beyond he's omnipotence in that category you know so it's just not even a comparison between the two anti anti riz you know? guide is guy <laughs> and guy is anti riz bro. Anti yeah on god <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, might as well be absent at that point yeah you know? gar's like an insult chat if that makes any sense yeah yeah pretty pretty much dude like he has the confidence but he lacks the riz so he's like in the middle for sure exactly yeah i don't know who's more chad between Mata and Toburama. let's get let's get Mata out of the way it's a good one i do want to discuss their comparisons as far as their sigma energy um where is he at here he is. There he is. Let's get you yeah. missing here. So, this is the thing about Madara Uchiha. Oh shit, two bucks from Kedrick. Thanks, man. Let me get my soundboard. Oh, hey. Gotta give some oh, we got recognition it. here. Give me a second. Let me go to my soundboard. Get that soundboard, Kedrick. baby! I just one of these. So, let me say, who has more Riz, Hit or Jiren? Hit has like more charisma. Like, he's more charismatic. But. Jiren is, it has that inherent respect that is literally 
so vast and influential that even gods of destruction are shitting themselves. Yeah. <laughs> Jiren is extremely polarizing. I think that Jiren probably has more Riz. Even the gods are like, you know, literally just amazed by this individual because of the Riz that he possesses, um, because of the guy that he is. Hit, like I said, he's more charismatic, um, but he doesn't have the kind of Riz in the Dragon Ball space. Um, I would certainly say Jiren has more Riz. It was enough to spark interest from Goku, spark interest from Gods of Destruction, spark interest yep. from Vegeta. Vegeta is the ultimate <laughs> Sigma. He he's not wrong, bro. He's just spitting right there. Yeah. People. He only shows respect to a handful of individuals. Goku, once he surpasses him. Um, Jiren, Broly. because of who he is. Broly. And probably Beerus and Weezy, and of Beerus. course. Yeah, and, so yeah of course, of those course. are the only yeah. handful that had enough Riz to garner respect from Vegeta. That's extremely impressive. So Jiren is that guy. Jiren is one of those guys. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Has extreme Sigma mentality, extreme Riz. Um, he should be very respected in the space. Very respected. He is very respected. So. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, so, absolutely. Madra, going back to what we were saying. There was this altercation, like this implicit stare down between Madara and Tobirama when uh, Hashirama literally was about to kill himself because Madara like suggested it. Because he, he's like, if you're really down about it, if you're really about it, kill yourself. He was about to do it when really Madara stopped him. Tobirama and Madara had like this stare down. So what you get from that stare down is the sense of superiority that Tobirama knows Madara has over himself. They're looking each other in the eye. It is an alpha moment. It's an alpha stare down moment. But Madara was looking him in the eye and saying, I'm better than you. And there's nothing you can do about it. If, <laughs> if your brother were to kill himself, there's nothing you can do to stop me. Because oh, I'm, well, I'm yeah. the alpha. And you know that. So he's more Sigma than Tobarama. Yeah. He's probably at the top. He's one of those guys that is so about it that he's willing to fight. Uh, like, he looked Tobarama dead in his eyes and said, bitch, if it wasn't for your brother, I'd kill you right fucking now. Like, I'd end your life. You know what I mean? Like, fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> He was that guy. And then what he does to Tobirama in the war? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Imagine someone throwing a rod in your face and saying you're fucking trash. Like, and you used to boast to be in the fastest and look at you now. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> oh, shit. The straight savage. Sigma. Let's be honest. Smodro effortlessly pulled extreme rage. Oh, yeah. For sure. Absolutely. Any females around that time? Shit. Oh yeah, bro. Yeah, he's one of those guys, man. He's one of those guys. Tell me, was just hiding while they battle. By bro. the way, once we finish this, guys, uh, what we'll, we'll do to end the stream because it's, it's gonna be a good stream, good banger. You know, if it's my days off, you, you know I'm gonna deliver on content for you guys. Um, but after this, uh, we finish this video, uh, we're gonna be doing uh, a little bit of Overwatch and then we'll do a little bit of uh, Texas Chainsaw. Just, just a little bit. Probably like a, doing a mixture of like an hour or two for both games. You know what I mean? And then that's it. We're done with the stream. So. He's just like, yeah, I, I clearly know I'm not going to help at all with this shit, so I'm just going to let y'all handle it, you know? Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, what the fuck was Guy and Lee doing with that hairstyle? It's a bitch repellent. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dude, Low literally. Key high key, man. Yeah, yeah. literally, Lee has a single mindset. <laughs> man said it was a bitch repellent. I'm weak. <laughs> I don't know when he first introduced himself to Sakura. Uh, Sakura was a yeah, yeah, yeah. by his drip. He didn't have the riz. He showed up. He's like, hey, I'm Rock Lee. And fucking, she's like, Look at that attire. Look at the fucking bowl cut. Look at the fucking eyebrows. Disgusting. disgusting. Yeah. yeah, it was disgusting to him. Well, Sasuke, kind of like the story, has an unintentional riz. You know, he's like cold, calculated, has swag, has drip. Facts. So, yeah, facts. Rock yeah. Lee just he lacks that. Maybe because of his mentor. Like, if, maybe if Kakashi was his mentor, he's like, hey, man, let me give you some fashion advice. Take that yeah. Put on some drip. <laughs> Jiraiya, Jiraiya tried, though. Like, Jiraiya, like, was, like, you know, he tried. Well, actually, you no, know, it was with Naruto. He told Naruto, don't ever wear that shit. Yeah. Get your fucking hair. Get Just a haircut. You trim your fucking yeah. eyebrows and get some fucking, get some riz. Get your riz up. You know, Kakashi probably would have done that for him. My guy doesn't he's have riz. He's still wearing the same shit as yeah. an adult. Bro. Literally, dude. Like, he's like, pick what up are you doing? Game. Like, like, fucking pick it up, man. Pick it up. <laughs> He has a kid. Shinobi's like, yeah. he's wearing the same shit as an adult. <laughs> oh, I don't man. Know how got a kid, man. I don't understand. Right. Yeah. Uh, even Guy is in his like fucking wheelchair, bro. Man. At least I think. I don't know. I don't yeah, exactly. Uh, 
Oh, I guess I'll give it to him. Yeah, you know? like, just legacy, like maybe, but like as far as Riz, nah, man, he's lacking. Um, remember how Sigma Ishki was humiliated the guys who trained over a decade? Yeah, I mean Ishki's extremely Sigma. Oh yeah. Yeah, Gohan was the only like... one who Vegeta apologized to. Vegeta, like he cares about Gohan. There's certain times where he like, he kind of scolds him. I forgot the exact moment they were in the. Uh, the gravity manipulating machine, I think they were talking, he was, he was like scolding Gohan, he's like, dude, is that how you're gonna fight? It's, it's pathetic, like you have all this potential. He's soft hearted. Yeah. Yeah, like, for sure, exactly. He, he, yeah. He, you need to really embrace your sane ferocity, like you'll never reach It's kind of like Itachi and Sasuke, yeah. you know, he's trying to invoke those emotions exactly. to like amp your power as a result, so, yeah. yeah. Exactly, he's like... Yeah, Piccolo is a sense, sensei in a different way altogether. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know? He's like, yeah. honestly... Probably the closest. I know Goku's his biological father, but if we're being real, like Piccolo's probably been more. Piccolo's of a that man, bro. Come yeah, on. he's been more of a father to Gohan than Goku. Like Goku yeah. is like the quiet leader. He leads by example. Piccolo will be like, "Hey, man, get your shit together." You know, like he'll tell him, "Like get your shit together." <laughs> he's not wrong. Superhero movie. He was literally policing yeah. him, dude. He's like, "Dude, what happened?" Like you he were that guy. Tricked him, you know. Yeah. <laughs> He was trying to like up But he his knows him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's like his father figure, you know. Goku, he's just so Sigma that he can't be a father. Like he's out like he's okay, he's not a bad father, but Bro, Goku so is Sigma. such a badass and such a menace and you name it, etc. and just that guy that the man is dumb as a fucking walnut and he's able to pull a bad bitch. You know what I mean, like he's still able to pull these women or just effortlessly and he's not even trying. Like, he's so dumb, he can't even, like, comprehend simple, basic shit or, like, just even the embodiment of a woman. And that motherfucker's just simple. Doesn't even try. You know what I mean? Like, just because he's just that guy, you know? He's just super strong, and, and whenever he sets his mind, just, like, the Sigma level, you name it, like, the savagery, you know, all his go goatedness, you know, like, it's just, just that, that guy. <laughs> so stuck to his convictions, uh. that. He just has to be about that life. He has to be about that. Like, bro, like, he, he even, like, even, it, like, he, like, I think from my memory or, like, all the memes I've ever seen or, like, short clips on YouTube where he's just always, like, bitching Balmar. Like, she's over here, like, simping for him or some weird shit. And he's always just, like, get out of here, bitch. Like, I I'm beyond you. Like, he ain't my focus. He ain't my, pr my priority. <laughs> like, it's just funny as fuck. You know, he's even told Trunks before. I think it was during the, uh, like, the Bulma got friends of by a guy. With effortless riz, basically. But, and Bomo was one of those, you know, was one of the peak, you know, woman. <laughs> Dude, I've never even hugged you, son. I'm about to grind. I'm sorry. Like, I, I've never showed you affection. <laughs> and the truth oh, yeah, is, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm just exactly. the alpha. I'm the alpha in the situation, and I got to put in the work. So that's, that's Goku. Yeah, Majin Vegeta. Majin, Majin Vegeta, bro. Majin ultimate Vegeta stigma. was the ultimate Sigma. Yeah, he's not even close. Yeah. He was extremely Sigma. Uh, I'd say <laughs> Moderate was more Chad. He had more power, obviously. Jerome was literally hiding from him. Yeah, facts, exactly. He feared Yeah, dude, DBZ, like, oh, too. Oh, dude, that would be awesome. Man. Yeah, that'd be that'd awesome. Be lit. That's another one yeah. we're going to do in the future, folks, for sure. That one's an awesome one as well. Um, and it's crazy because Lee was literally one of the most powerful people in training exams. He had the hands, but got no bitches. Yeah, facts. It was his aesthetic, okay. man. He, he lacked riz and drip, you know, so. Um, let's see. What's another good one? Let's do Neji. Neji's a good one. So, Ew. Neji was a prodigy, about his sig very Sigma, obviously, about his grind, um, was willing to kill. He was going to kill Hinata, probably, if you know, the mm -hmm. Joni didn't intervene. So, he's about his, he's about that life. Um, the only guy that was Sigma enough to break him was Naruto, which we'll discuss that version of Naruto soon. He was extremely Sigma, put Rock Lee in his place for many, many years, said, I'm, I'm, I'm the Alpha, and you need to acknowledge me as such. Yeah, extremely, extremely <laughs> he was a dick, cold, badass, effortlessly pulling woman as well. Bitch Rockley on like, on such an epic and like savagery level. Like the, the man was like fucking heartbroken and literally obsessed and extremely determined to surpass him and to prove that hard work can surpass geniuses or talented people. Like Neji, that motherfucker, was, <laughs> he had that energy, bro. He was that guy in part one, you know? Divine Neji. Every time she'd fucking speak of him, she would get soaked. Like, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> 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 fucking Ted Ted, I think is who he's talking about. You know, sit, uh. moist, moist. He didn't give a fuck. You know, he, he did he not. Dead behind the, you know, dead behind the soul. Extremely, extremely Sigma. And very Chad. He has unintentional Riz, too. 
just like Sasori, just like Sasuke. Um, so he's one of those dudes. Definitely. One yeah, of those very dudes. parallel. Yeah, yeah. Very, very, very similar. Classic Vegeta. Yeah, yeah, facts, dude. Goku's looking better father than Piccolo is a close uncle. Uh, I don't know if he's a better father than Piccolo, but... Um, he leads by example, I'll say that. He does that well. So. Yeah. Yeah. He's never like, Gohan, you gotta stop being lazy. Like, nah, he doesn't do that shit. That's Piccolo. He's like, get, get off your fucking ass. You're becoming a fucking rusty version of yourself. Get your shit together. You know, so. Like, he doesn't know how to be a man, you know yeah, what I mean? Through exactly. training. Yeah. Which can be like, translated to so many areas in your life besides just increasing your physical strength. So, Piccolo really trained them a lot from a very young age where Goku was dead or training the afterlife or fighting aliens, you know? Yeah, exactly. Um, he's also just extremely idealistic in his, like, his, um, his emotions and the way he is, so... Yeah, exactly. It, yeah, it blinded yeah. him. Yeah, it, for it, sure. it definitely blinded him. Yeah, that's for sure. Um, you're not telling me girls don't like a dude that works out? Here's the thing about women. Men are simple creatures, right? All we want is peace, support, and a bad bitch. That's all we want. But women want several more factors. They want Riz. They want drip. They want financial stability. They want dominance. They want providers. Yeah, status, provider, security. Like they want all these things. So you could work out, right? That'll certainly like improve your overall Chad like trait. But True. if you lack the Sigma mentality, if you lack the the, the Riz, the drip, a guy yeah. that has more drip and Riz than you. That's also like yeah, bro. They, they have a, they have a fucking dad bod, or they could just be a fucking toothpick. If they have all those other qualities, they're gonna still want that than a guy that's just only muscular. You know what I mean? Like they don't give a fuck. That don't mean shit. I mean, it would only basically work for you more if you have certain qualities or all the other attributes that they really really care for. You know what I mean? They can give two fucks. Better yet, statistically wise, most women prefer men that have dad bods or are skinny than muscular. As crazy as that sounds, so. Like, <laughs> absolutely. Boy, more bitches, bro. yeah, it's as simple as that. So, Say more, absolutely. Yeah, like, Rock Lee has, a, obviously, the physique, the grind. He just lacks the riz. Like, he doesn't have that game. You know, he doesn't have game. Yeah, it don't matter if you work out. It don't yeah. matter for guys at all. Like, you have to check off. It's completely different. Yeah, yeah. Like, Lee Moder, for example, he checks off all the boxes. The aesthetic, the drip, the mentality, the riz. Like, he has it all. Or Naruto, Baron Monk. The Riz, the mentality, the legacy, you know, so mm -hmm. those guys have it. Rockley's is missing some, you know, some pieces to the puzzle, you know, so let's see here what you guys are saying. Uh, was disappointed when Gohan turned into a bitch after the Sogans? Yeah, man. I think a lot of us were. Yeah. yeah. Well, from what I've heard, we talked about this in the past, but he was supposed to be the main villain, uh, excuse me, the main uh, t protagonist, but um, mm -hmm. the fans seem to, like, not align with that, so Toriyama said, you know what? let's bring back Goku you know let's bring him back he's the main guy Vegeta and Goku so it was like that was originally his intention I think from what I've heard like Toriyama wanted to make him like the next one kind of like the feature of the next generation but you know we have a even the blue arc I feel like people underrate how strong Mr. Gohan really was oh yeah definitely like, underrate yeah yeah underrated a lot so yeah, yeah like I agree but like he definitely had at least some relevance in the yeah, blue arc yeah definitely he definitely had yeah, a moment, man. like, he had a cold yeah. moment when uh, Boo was like, he was like, you want to fight Boo? He's like, nah, I want to, I want to fucking kill you. I don't want to fight you. I want to kill yeah. you. Yeah. That was cold. Exactly. Yeah, that was yeah. a cold moment. So. It was badass. Yeah, These moments of Sigma-like energy. Um, do all the Hokage have Riz? I think they all do. Here's and doesn't. Guaranteed he pays for the pussy. Facts. Guaranteed. Um, yeah. Let's talk about a guy with some fucking swag. Where's Minato at? Here he is. Minato, this one of the goats. Literally had Hell yeah. supporters. You know, he was that guy. Um, feared throughout the nations. Extremely Sigma. You know, literally would take out platoons of Shinobi single-handedly. Just about that grind. You know, about the grind. About the about the bag. Um, about natural about, born leader. Yeah, this is a natural born leader. Obviously had Kushina head over heels for him. Um, extremely Chad-like. He's near the top. He's he's very very uh, dominant. Very he has a lot of riz, effortless riz. I'd say. Um, sacrifice his life. Sacrifice yeah. his life. Like he's one of those guys, man. So he definitely belongs like over here in this rare. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, let's see. How about Kurama. Kurama. Oh, that's a good one. Where is he at? Kurama. 
tell beast around here. Oh yeah, I see there's some of them. Let's okay. See. Killer B. Where's Cormac? Uh, King yeah. Cuckoo, King again. Maybe he's up here. Let's see. Nine, four oh, tail Naruto. Six tail Naruto. Is he even on here? Let me see. I, I don't about. see a tail beast, honestly. Yeah, I don't even. It's all good. Yeah. He'd be a cool one to let's see. I see the Cherokee right here. Yeah. yeah. I don't see the tail beast. I guess I didn't. Yeah, Kuruma was that guy. Ooh, Kuruma sweet. was that fucking guy, bro. <laughs> shit, shit. Oh, let's do him. Where's he at? Uh, go down below. He's like uh, right next to Tonari. Tonari. Yeah. Yep, go right, right there. Oh, yep. I see him. So, yep. I mean, these are pretty much the same. Oh, shit, he's already up here. Where's he at? So, Sishui definitely has Riz. Um, it was about that grind. He's willing to die for it. He literally did die for it in the end. Um, very similar to Itachi as far as his chat yeah. metrics and his Sigma mentality. Potential, for Potential. sure, yeah. Very, very uh, Sigma like a Chad. Like the only knock on his, on his career was how he went out. Um, but you know, it, it is what it is. He was a child, still developing. Um, so, pretty Sigma like, pretty Sigma like, pretty Chad like. I mean, this guy usually Uchiha's have effortless Riz. If you're a talented Uchiha, you're gonna pull. It is, it's inevitable. So, he's definitely. Yeah, there. like he also like left his best friend to die because he was jealous. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he didn't give a fuck. He's yeah, like, I want to be the most powerful one in the village, and that's how I got the Mon Gecko so early. And so like, yeah, he's about what it takes to be yeah. honest. You know, yeah, he had a great trajectory of power and yeah. potential. So oh, it's yeah, nice. yeah, it's even stated he was like the most talented in the clan. So mm -hmm. yeah, he's that guy. Uh, no, no, Yamcha's not Sigma. <laughs> Yamcha. Yeah, Yamcha, uh, bro. Gosh. Yeah, nah. Maybe an early Dragon Ball, like Dragon Ball, but not now. The fucking, the fucking incel beta now. Um, extremely beta, that's for sure. Um, yes, Minato is him. Even in the one shot, girls were talking about him, wondering if they Like, no matter what I'll say, Shichu was one of the goats. Like, he was that guy, you know, you name it for many, many attributes and aspects. Like, the most powerful Genjutsu. Um, literally worked on Edo's while infinite Tsukiyomi, six pass level Genjutsu doesn't. You know I mean, like, the motherfucker was a monster, you know, had his own Susano, etc. Like, was a beast or what on side order, could fucking Genjutsu platoons of fucking high level ninja, like, effortlessly and no diff them and even make, like, really strong joning, like, uh, like just immediately concede, was, uh, feared among nations, etc. Like, he was literally that guy, you know, Koto was even, like, highly regarded in like respect from Itachi out of all characters he was very transparent very humble you know um really powerful the only moment where he had that was like more of an insult moment where it was like really bad and embarrassing was the treatment he got from Donzo like I'm sorry there's a lot of characters that got beat up but the way Shishui did bro that was that was rough to watch that was really rough bro <laughs> like, I was so bad. Like, you would never be seeing Minotobi getting treated like that or Itachi, et cetera, et cetera, you know? Like, get the fuck out of here. Um, like, it was really, really bad, bro. Um, so that was rough, unfortunately. But then again, like, the only thing you could say in his defense was, like, you know, he's just such, like, a very kind and good-hearted person, and he just basically, he also underestimated Donzo and was basically caught lacking, you know, off guard in a sense, too. You know what I mean? Because he did immediately no diff Donzo. Like, he dealt with him easily. He's like, fuck you, bitch. Like, I'm sorry. He even apologized for no diffing him. He's like, I'm sorry that I had to use this on you, you know? And then he starts walking away, you know, because he basically beat Donzo right there and then. And then Donzo used Izanagi and then literally, like, fucking, you know, bitched him from behind, you know? Like, so, no matter what, like, it is what it is, but... Like, it still looks really, really bad. And then when Shishui at least has one eye, you know, and he's and he's fighting or whatever, like, he's still, like, not even killing nobody. Like, he's still holding back and, and trying to reason or, like, trying to prolong the inevitable except all this bullshit. It's like, bro, use your goddamn Susano and shit on these motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Like, what are you doing? Stop being a little bitch. Like, the guy just bitched you and took your eye. You know, like... Like, what the fuck are you doing, you know? So, like, that that was an L for Shishui, definitely. And, and then so many people, like, misconstrued that context or, like, or, like, highly, highly dog him for that, too, which is understandable, but they, like, but in a sense of transparency, especially in the, in the form of power scaling, a lot of people are dishonest with it, you know? So, like, 
Fortunately, it's just it's just it's rough. It's it's unfortunate, but you know that's about it. But for the most part, he is that guy. Parties. Oh yeah, dude, he had that Riz from the very beginning. Any party pulled that, girls I, too. In, in Riz, class, let's be real. She Street. He, I, oh, I know damn well he did. You know, while he was getting the work done, they were talking about him in the corner because he had Riz. So uh, I feel like Sakura was still beta and Shippuden. Yeah. She Street ain't getting butt cheeks unless he's Kodos. <laughs> unless he uses Kodo. I don't know, man. He is an Uchiha with a, an abundance of talent. Bruh. I feel like if he went up to a female and they just look at his eyes, even without him using Genji, they'd be like, damn, he got drip. Yeah, that's not bad. He got the MS? Oh, yeah. bad. You know what I mean? It's yeah. Like, that's like social proof, man. If you got an MS, that's, that's like our equivalent. Dog. Yeah, that's like our equivalent. Oh, what's up? What's up, Derek? Appreciate yeah, you coming along. I just, I just saw your, your text. Cool. What's up, man? Appreciate you, brother. Oh, shit. You know, so. Dang, it's going good. It's going good. We're yeah, checking out. Uh, three -time we're checking out Jay's uh, whole stream right now. It's been a blast. It's been really hilarious. You name it. But it was his Naruto Sigma stream that he did, which I thought was really interesting. And from what I was witnessing when I first came in at certain moments, it was pretty funny as fuck. And then I was like, you know what? Fuck. It. I'll just react to the thing. I'm not gonna react to the whole thing because eventually I come along. Um, but I just wanted to kind of react to like everything I was not there for. You know. Um, but it's pretty funny though. It's pretty great. Um, we're just we're just reacting to this real quick and then and then the end off the stream We're just gonna play some a little bit of gaming like a little bit of overwatch and and maybe Texas Chainsaw Maybe but you know if we if I might pull that in as well Just try to you know get a good game out of it or something, but, but yeah, but we've been streaming about seven hours, man You know what I mean? We've played a lot of Walking Dead today a lot <laughs> so We finished season one for Walking Dead at least so I'll be posting that eventually, but yeah Damn that's what girls are about. They're about that kind uh, of social proof in the Shinobi world. You know, so. so trivial. I yeah, love it. Exactly. Tien Cell Saga. Tien? Dude, honestly. You gotta do DBZ one, bro. Yeah, we sometime. have to do that. Honestly, like. We have to. The majority of people in the tournament with Cell were betas. Um, besides, like. I think Tien's a lot more than Yash, at least. Like, he got yeah, drift. Yeah. Like, he got more drift. Yeah, I mean. He got more spada, Sigma energy, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Yamcha, like, yeah. I think he realized that he was such fodder that he just kind of, like, put the gloves down. He's like, I'm bad. You know, <laughs> God damn, poor Yamcha. Down, bro. You yeah. right here, man, bro. man was literally yeah. the, the Kiba of, of Dragon Ball Z, basically. Shit. <laughs> yeah. So, you know what? I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to retire, hang up the gloves, and just live my life. You know? oh, day. oh, yeah, it's a good vid, man. H. Yeah, it, it is what it is. He got his bitch snatched from him, bro. Like, oh, like, and he got his bitch bad. snatched, bro. Down bad. Yeah. yeah, that's cuck and very very cuck. Yeah, Vegeta, dude, it's just yeah. Yeah, exactly. All, all alpha lion, bro. Yeah, real. Vegeta was always the alpha. Showed up to Earth, and I'm, I'm gonna take your bitch. Take her. So, <laughs> he's oh, he's not wrong though. Vegeta, dead ass, an alien came from a whole other fucking planet. Alien, was, you know, in the universe, came through and said, you know what, I'm to get the fuck out of here. I'm taking your bitch. You know what I mean? And took Boma from him. <laughs> Oh man, After imagine. One shot probably is the most unrest, uh, unrest Riz. Yeah, we're, I think I saw a one shot meaning John here. There he is. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, dope. This is a very mm. high Riz individual. Oh, yeah. Um, very sick. Unmatched. Yeah, unmatched Riz. He's literally probably at the, like over here. Very, very high Riz. His Sigma mentality was there. He was literally creating the Rasengan to protect you know, his main chick. Which was Kushina. That was his main chick. I guarantee he had side chicks at this point in time. Um, <laughs> guys that could pull like that. So, definitely very chill. He said Minotaur has side chicks. Belongs in the rare era of these guys. Very, very high up. Very, very. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Minotaur is that guy. Uh, Even Teen yeah, Minotaur, bro. Team Just that guy. A beast. Yeah, I was like, what? what? So, did, didn't PM, uh, TN pass up launch? Pass up launch. Yeah. Huh. Honestly, I don't know what you mean by that. Yeah, I don't know what you mean either. Kage is the biggest beta. Oh, fucking Kage. Kage is oh, yeah. retarded. She's retarded. That's what it is. <laughs> um, she really she is, is dumb, bro. Right there to your right. Yeah. Yeah, she she is. Is. She's yeah. retarded. Um, she's not about that grind. You know, she needed to create an army to be to feel special and feel safe. <laughs> um, so definitely more beta, like, not about it. Now, as far as her Chad incel trait, pretty incel. I mean... Fucking Naruto was able to seduce her with sexy jutsu. Yeah. So like. moderate, yeah moderate, get her off guard. Moderate would never play those games. So, yeah, that was sad. Yeah, that was pretty. She, went, she was pretty down bad after that. Um, pretty incel, pretty beta. 
Why not be this fucking Yeah, Madara, Madara, if Nards would try to do that to Madara, you know what I mean? And, you know, and be like, oh, he's a man, so this will work, you know what I mean? Or some bullshit. Madara would have deadass looked at it and be like, what kind of dis what stupid, disgusting jutsu is this? Like, are you fucking kidding me? And then Arts would be like, huh, it didn't work on him? Like, and then try to, like, off guard him, and then, like, Madara just effortlessly dodges or blocks it and bitches him. Like, that's literally what Madara would do, bro. Like, on God. <laughs> like, like, that shit would never, ever work on Madara. Hell no. She's around here. That man would be like, get that shit out of here. She's no Tuski after all. Yeah. You know? Jeez. Like, she is willing to fuck shit up if need be, but she's just so mentally unstable. That's what really hinders her. Yeah. Exactly. Like, rating. You she's, know? like, slightly beta. Yeah, she's, like, maybe, like, there. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's good for now. Yeah. Robyama would get expelled from school for bullying Ishiki. <laughs> yeah, dude. He'd be the, uh, the alpha of the high school, for sure. Um... Let's see, I think launched it. I don't know. I think probably Ishiki would be big on the other though. Just saying. Yeah, this is a very good argument because he was just <laughs> at a pleading life at that point. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, yeah. It's a very good argument that he might actually be able, even with Baron, let's still beat him. Uh, Tien is a dope ass Sigma in Dragon Ball. He was a cheater, so I'd say low Sigma, but in DBZ, he's top Sigma. <laughs> yeah. Um. Kikinata. Okay. Is interesting because. Yes, she simps over Naruto, but that's her whole ideology. Her, her ideology is like to protect and bring Naruto peace. Like she has that conviction as she gets older. Like in the pain arc, for yeah. example, she like sacrificed her life nearly to, right, really. to protect mm -hmm. him. So it's a little insult like, but it's very Sigma because of how much conviction she has. Agreed. Uh, now her resolve amp for crazy. Like going against Neji like she did and, and yeah. two weeks down. Like, oh yeah, that went hard. Like pretty more on the yeah. Against Neji? Yeah. And the Ansel side, as far as that, but more on the Sigma side as well. Mm -hmm. She'd be like over here somewhere. She had, she's a battle. She well, she even pulled up on pain, bro. For Naruto, for her mans. She pulled up on pain and didn't give a fuck. She was willing to die for him. semi perfect cell. I mean, I guess it's impressive, but yeah. How about, um,. Hedon. Hedon. Oh, that's an interesting one. Let's see where is he at. Bro, a fucking Hedon's bitch ass. Yes. Wait, let's fucking eat her. That's a good there question. Where? Yeah, oh, yeah, there he is. Hedon. I mean, I don't think I know a guy more, more, you know, about Can his I cause mean? than Hedon, man. He's about it. Yeah, no, extremely uh, devout. Extremely as devout. As pious as they come. He's yeah. a, he's, he has a fundamentalist devotion to his cause and to his religion of Dashin. Extremely, extremely devout. Mm -hmm. Guy's willing to sacrifice his body at many, many times to achieve his goals. Extremely Sigma. Um, kind of insult behavior, though, to be honest. Yeah, very, very insult behavior. He'd probably be like in the Gar situation. Like, he has the confidence, but he lacks Riz. He's just a fucking psycho. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I he agree. Yeah. Sigma mentality. Yep. He's up there. But he's a, he doesn't have Riz. So. He's like weird. He had potential, but you know, he fucked up. He was a psychopath. He's just, he's psychopathic. Yeah. yeah, he's just a fucking psychopath straight up. Like, he'd rather slaughter a whole uh, platoon of women than actually fucking get any, you know, anything out of them, you know? <laughs> man, man would be like, nah, I just want to, I just want to make, stop your heart from beating instead of getting a kiss or some shit, you know, or my dick sucked. Yeah, folks. Hmm. Any, any uh, financial incentive will change this list if you guys all right so we are at the hour mark so far so we're going to conclude this video here because i don't want this video to be too too long um and then we'll do the final part um the next part for you guys of completing this video um but pretty good so far really really good um <laughs> i highly doubt we'll, we'll need to do like a third part for this um so it should only take two parts but um but really really good so far absolutely fucking hilarious i can't agree any more than what they've really given so far <laughs> Um, pretty good um, analysis and um, you know and, and thoughts and perspectives of the characters based upon their personality feats etc. Um, so really really good so far. But if you guys really enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like as well. Make sure to check out Jay the Great. Check out Shinobi. They both have YouTubes. I'll put the YouTubes in the link in the description down below as well. If I'm ever involved with them in any way, I always normally do that unless I forget. But um, but definitely check them out. Give them all the love and support too. If you if you like this type of content, you love it. They got plenty of it. Um, well, at least for Jay. Shinobi is still bringing some content along the way. Um, he hasn't gotten like fully, fully invested into it just yet. He's kind of like in the snowball effect phase right now. So, um, But Jay has plenty of stuff. Plenty of stuff. If you guys want to check him out. 
um, so definitely do that. And uh, as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, just make sure you leave a like, comment your thoughts down below. What do you think so far? And of everything you've seen so far, um, if you have not seen this video yet and you're f first watching it from my channel, what do you think? Like, <laughs> do you agree for the most part? Do you disagree? Do you think it's pretty pretty solid for the most? You know, like I'm very curious to know what you think. Um, just anything, just uh, give me another laugh while you're at it. Um, and as always, guys, subscribe for more content. Subscribe, guys, on the channel. Especially if you love Naruto content and anime, you name it, and there'll be plenty of more along the way. We got, we got, we got a long time, okay, long time. But as always, guys, bye and out, peace.